Get your Bibles out and let's get ready to enjoy another study of God's Word. My heart filled with thanksgiving. Yeah. I will, I will, I will. Now put those holy hands together. I will bless thee, O oh Lord. Come on. Hey. I'm going to bless you, Jesus. Come on. With the heart of thanksgiving. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, she's a sheep. She the sheep, 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 she the sheep. Hallelujah. Oh God. Oh God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Father, we love you. We honor you. We magnify you. We exalt you. Oh, mighty God. Oh, mighty God. Oh, delivering God. Oh, protecting God. Oh, providing Jehovah. We praise your name. We thank you for who you are. We praise you for what you've done. We magnify you in the sanctuary. We glorify you in the sanctuary. We've come to praise your name. We've come to honor your name. We've come to magnify your name. Oh God, oh God, wonderful Savior, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, you're my wonderful counselor, and we magnify you today. We magnify you today. You're greater than any problem. You're greater than any situation. You're greater, oh God. You are greater. You are greater. You are greater. You are greater. You're greater. You're greater. You're greater. You're greater. You're greater. You're greater than any trouble. You're greater than any storm. You're greater than any confusion. And we magnify you. We magnify you. We magnify you. There you go. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. We magnify your name. Yeah. Oh. Oh God. Oh God. Have your way today. 
have your way today. Holy Ghost, have your way. Move by your spirit. Move by your spirit. Let your anointing overtake in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stretch up your hand of deliverance. Strap up your hand of mercy. Strap up your hand of comfort. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. So many, so many. We're here in a very difficult way. In a very stressful way. But oh God. Oh God, soothe them in comfort. Right now in the name of Jesus, we thank you for being the comforter. Thank you for being the comforter. Thank you for being the comforter. Oh God, we look to you. We look to you, the author and finisher of our faith. Oh God. We thank you for the shedding of your blood. Thank you for the cleansing of your blood. Thank you for the delivering power of your blood. Thank you for the victory of your blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And we magnify you. Have your way in this place. Holy God, have your way. Have your way. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise by the power of that great name, Jesus. By the power of that great name, Jesus. By the power of that great name, Jesus. We praise you now forever, and it is so. Amen and amen. Come on, bless him. Come on, bless him. Come on, bless him. Come on, bless the Lord in this place. Come on and bless the Lord in this place. Oh, bless the Lord in this place. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. While you're standing, while you're standing, I want you to help me welcome those that are joining us. Amen. Literally from all over the world, they can join us. And we thank God that nobody tunes in by accident, coincident, or mistake. I always believe it to be a divine appointment. And we welcome all of you that have joined us wherever you are. I encourage you to prepare yourself to praise, worship, amen, magnify God with us. Wonderful thing about this God we serve, he's here with us, but you know what? He's right there where you are. But he lets us know that he inhabits or he lives among praisers. So it's vitally important that no matter where you are, no matter uh, uh, what you may be doing, you got to lift up a praise right now and the Lord will be right there where you are. So praise the Lord with us and on behalf of this family of word, amen, praise us, welcome to the word. Give him praise everybody, amen. Come on, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. While you're standing, let's go to our foundational passage. <laughs> While you're standing, let's go to our foundational passage. Thank God. You know, where there's, where there's unity, there's strength. Amen. Amen. We thank God for his word. We're going to our foundational passage uh, this morning to come from Exodus 36 and 5. We'll start there, and then we'll journey on in our word. Amen? I thank God for all that he is. I thank God for his strength. Thank God for his healing virtue. Amen? Oh, I know he's a healer. I know he's a deliverer. Amen? Amen? Amen. He's blessing me right now. Woo. Amen. 
I thank God for this back brace I got on. I thank God for the brace. I thank the Lord that I'll be able, I'm going to sit down a little bit and declare his word. I thank God for being able to sit here and declare it. I thank God that I'm already better. Oh, yeah, come on. Already better. Amen. Amen. And there's power. There's power in unity. Amen. There's power in unity. Uh, I can see, look like some of y'all dress some kind of way. Hmm. Yeah. I'll leave that alone. Well, when folk unite, it carries. It carries over. It's a wonderful thing to be united. There's power in it. And this morning, we're, we're united in our praise. I'm uniting my praise with your praise. I'm declaring that God is working some things for you right now. Anybody believe it? Oh, yes, he is. So let's go to this word of the Lord. Uh, Exodus 36 and 9, we should know that. Let's declare this, and then we're going to get busy in this word. Lord, we want you to deliver your mail to your people today. Amen. Exodus 36 and 9, what does it say? And they spake unto Moses, saying, The people bring much more than enough for the service of the work which the Lord commanded to make. God bless you. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. I'm going to sit down for a minute, but I tell you what, my praise is going to stay up. I'm going to sit down. They told me to relax a few weeks. But I assure you, my praise is yet up. Anybody have a show enough praise? Amen. Glory to God. Pray with me just a few moments. Pray with me a few moments while we deliver this word of the Lord. Amen. We are coming to you. Uh, and we're using for a subject for this portion of the message, determined to praise. Determined to praise. Determined to praise. And, you know, I, I've said, I, and I say often, it's one thing to attend church. It's another thing to know God's word. How many know it's important to know God's word? And we can't get to the place where we maintain our determination to praise God unless we've gotten in that word. Amen? Some folk just attend. They just attend every now and then, something to do or whatever. Others of us want to know him. When you want to know him, you want to get in the word. You want to understand the word. Amen? And when we understand the word and have the revelation of the word, we obtain manifestation of the word. Amen? And so we're in the portion of our lesson uh, where we're saying that we are determined to praise. Why must there be a declaration and a determination to praise? Because praise must be something that comes from our spirit. Why must praise come from our spirit? Because our body won't always feel like it. Our body goes through stuff. Our natural man, our natural self goes through stuff. We won't always feel like praising, and that's when we must have a determination to praise. Amen. We must demand of our body. You will praise God today. You will clap your hands. You will lift up your head. You will put a smile on your face. Come on. Come on. You will look like you know God today, not because of what you're going through, but, but, but because of what you're going to. Lord, have your way in here. Hallelujah. And... As we study the word, and we're going to get this today, and we'll understand this today, as we study the word of God, 
we'll get to the place where we really get to grasp the fact that God wants us in a place of promise, in a place of deliverance, even more than we want to be there. He wants us because he declared it for us before the foundation of the world. Amen. And check this out. When our desire is God's desire, amen, he's already declared what we shall obtain when our desire is God's desire. When what we are waiting on, when what we are declaring and what, and what we are, are, are trusting God for is the same thing that God has already declared, we have to understand that there is a spiritual army that's going to bring forth Amen. What God has declared shall happen in our life. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Are you hearing me? It's closer than some of us think. A whole lot of stuff we already got. A whole lot of stuff has already happened. Amen. And we get to the place where God is so faithful. Come on. He's so faithful. He's so faithful that we can praise God for stuff that hadn't happened yet. Come on. He's so faithful that we can praise him in advance. <laughs> So we must have to understand, we have to understand that our promise and our deliverance is going to be complete. God wants it to be complete, that we may fulfill God's will, that we may fully fulfill God's will. Amen? God don't want us halfway. He wants us all the way. He declared your peace. He declared your healing. He declared our deliverance. Since he declared it, and he wants us to be a testimony of who he is, check out what's about to happen. I wish I had some more help in here. Come on. He wants us strengthened. Why would he want you strengthened? Why would he want me strengthened? So that I can do his will strengthened. Amen. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Meaning they went through a test and declared as they came through, God did it. God worked it. Come on. God worked it. God turned it. We're spirit, we're soul, we're body. Amen. When we come into church, there's a reason. There's a reason we spend time in praise and worship service. There's a reason. There's a reason that we come in and, 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 and the and the. Uh, praise leaders and worship leaders lift up songs unto the Lord. There's a reason. Every time we sing a song, every time we do any of that, there's a reason we sing a song even before I minister. We do it because we're spirit, we're soul, we're body. We understand that oftentimes we enter into the house, come out of stuff. We enter in coming out of situations. We enter in with our minds having been hampered and hammered by the situations we've been going through. The reason we spend that time in worship and praise is to magnify who God is above whatever we've been going through. When we say, oh, magnify the Lord with me, that's not a denial of whatever you've been facing. It's simply saying, God is greater than whatever you're going through. Touch somebody right now, tell them God is greater than all of it. Oh, I wish some, I need some praises in here. I said God is greater than all of it. Anything that can afflict my body, anything that, that can come your way, God is greater. So I magnify God and my mind is focused on who he is. Rather than my failures, rather than my handicap, my mind is focused on who God is and therefore I'm getting myself ready to obtain what God has declared. God wants me to have it. Oh, God wants me to have it. God wants you to have it. Did you hear me? God wants you to have it. We've been warning over the last few weeks that you never abandon the promise of God. You never abandon what you've been trusting God to do in the time of trouble, in the time of the storm. You never abandon it. You just magnify God while you're going through it. Did you hear what I said? Look at somebody, tell them never abandon. Tell them never give up. Amen. Weak, weaklings won't make it. 
The Bible said, be strong <laughs> in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amen? And we got to know when we're going through, we better know how to remember his word. He got a word there in Psalms 27 and 5 that said, but in the time of trouble, he shall hide me, good God Almighty, in his pavilion, in the secret of this tabernacle shall he hide me. And this is what I really love about it. When, 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 when we go through that process, he shall set me on a rock. The devil should have left you alone. You're coming out higher than you went in. He shall set me up upon a rock. Look at somebody telling them you're coming out higher. Tell them again, you're coming out higher. I want to spend a little more time dealing with this determined to praise. Capsulize it and button up this portion of the message, determined to praise. We spent plenty of time and we walked through the word of God in that entire book of Exodus. The foundational passage we read out of Exodus 36 and 5, and they spake unto Moses saying, the people bring much more than enough for the service of the work that the Lord commanded to make. And we understand, and we'll see it today even in Scripture, where they were bringing silver and they were bringing gold and they were bringing substance to fulfill every need of the sanctuary. Yeah. Amen? The people brought it. Now, it's one thing to know the end of the story, but we need to know the beginning and the middle. This word is so important. This word is so important. Because if believers understand this, you'll know how to resist. If you understand this about processing and going through processing, you will understand resisting the enemy when he shows up. Amen? Oh, he's going to show up. If he hadn't showed up and, give, and tried his best to give you a headache yet, just keep praising God. All praises prepare for the enemy to show up. He coming. No need of us to be dismayed. I don't want you to be shocked when he shows up. He's going to show up. How do I know? Because the Lord allowed him. He will allow him to give us some processing. God will teach us that he is God at all times. He's still God. He's still God. What you going through? He's still God. What happened to you? He's still God. Mm, 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 mm. What did you have to face last week? He's still God. Mm, mm. What got you down about next week? He's still God. He's still God. He's still God. He's still God. Hallelujah. He's still God. You're hurting and he's still God. Mm. 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 See, like the enemy raging, he's still God. The enemy can only rage as much as the Lord allows him to rage because he's still God. Mm. Can't nothing, I don't you fear what's happening to you next week. Nothing can happen to you next week except God allow it and he's still God. If God allows it, he already knows he's going to bring you out of it. He's still God. You got to praise him during the process. Praise him through the process. Hallelujah. He's still God. So I will trust him. Hallelujah. I will trust him. I want what I want because of who he is. I shall have what I shall have because of who he is. And the Lord shall be glorified in everything I obtain. The Lord shall be glorified in everything I do, in everything I say, in everything I become. The Lord shall be glorified. Did you hear what I said? That's got to be your praise. That's got to be your report. The Lord shall be glorified in everything I do. In every blessing I receive, the Lord shall be glorified. In every place I go, the Lord shall be glorified. 
And the more you give God glory, the more he's going to rain down some more. The more you glorify God, the more it's coming. Did you hear what I said? The more it's coming. The more it's coming. The more you glorify God, the more it's coming. We've been studying this lesson because we have to understand there is a processing. You know, when we get in the spring and summer of the year, those of us that have grass, we love that dark green grass. We know, uh, we just love it when the grass gets good and dark. But the grass generally doesn't get good and dark until after the rain. Anybody hear what I said? It generally doesn't get good and dark until after the rain. Amen? Some folk get depressed because they wake up and it's cloudy. Hallelujah. Some folk get upset at what the rain's going to do to their hair. Hello, somebody. Get all upset. Trouble because it's raining. But yet they want the dark green grass. We got to understand, the dark green grass won't come unless some water hit it. <laughs> Amen. Some things won't come our way until we've been in and out through and out of the storm. Give God a praise for it right now. Let me get in this word. Exodus 9 and 6. Jump there with me. Exodus 9 and 6. God, I praise your name. Exodus 9 and 6. Glory to God. Then the Lord said unto Moses, Go in under Pharaoh. Go to the enemy. Go to the enemy. Go to the one that's been troubling my people. Mm -hmm. Go to the one that's been stressing my people. Go to that spirit that's been weighing down my people. Go to that spirit that's been causing my people to be unfulfilled. Go to that thing that's been causing them to be without. Go to Pharaoh. When the Bible said go to Pharaoh, you got to know God has sent the word to go to everything that's been hindering us. Go to everything that's been hindering you. Mm -hmm. Go to everything that's been blocking your way, blocking your progression, blocking your healing. Blocking us from obtaining what God said we shall obtain. Go to Pharaoh. Go to that spirit that's been hindering my daughter. Go to that thing that's been discouraging my son. Go to Pharaoh and tell him that I said, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm the God of the Hebrews. Mm -hmm. I'm the God of that sister. You didn't know who you were messing with. I'm the God of that brother you've been hindering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm the God of that family. Yeah, you've been messing up, but I'm their God. Tell Pharaoh to hear my word. Let my people, my son, my daughter, my agents, my workers, let them go. But you can't miss this part. You can't miss this part. If you missed this, you missed it all. Let them go that they may serve me. That's, that's something to dance about right there. Let them go that they may serve me. Mm. My deliverance got to come that they may serve me. Mm-hmm. My increase is coming 
that they may serve me. I'm working it for their family that they may serve me. Good God Almighty. I'm giving them peace that they may serve me. They should have nothing missing and nothing broken that they may serve me. I'm bringing them out of that entanglement that they may serve me. I'm bringing them out of that bondage that they may serve me. I'm taking them out of the storm of that oppression and that depression that they may serve me. That they may serve me. Somebody give God some praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. Those tears of sorrow shall be transformed into tears of joy that they may serve me. Is anybody hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I promise shall be delivered to them that they may serve me. Is anybody hearing that? That they may serve me. Are you getting it? Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, God is doing it for you and I that we may serve him. If you're grabbing that, give him praise right now. God, I give you glory in the house. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I wish I had a few more believers just to say thank you, Jesus. We move a little further down that chapter, that ninth chapter of Exodus to the fifth verse. And it says, and the Lord appointed a set time. Hmm. Hallelujah. And the Lord appointed a set time. Uh huh. And the set time is already set. <laughs> The set time of the Lord is already appointed. It's already there. And this is why you have to understand you never abandon ship. You never quit in the time of trouble because the set time is already set. It's already appointed. And you're closer than you think. And your praise will expedite. Your praise will expedite the delivery of what God has promised. Oh, God. Hallelujah. And the Lord appointed a set time. When the Lord appoints it, there's nothing the devil can do about it. Only our reluctance to praising God and standing for him can back us away from the appointed time. Did y'all get that? Only our murmuring and complaining can back us away from the set time. Your neighbor, the folk who don't believe what you're waiting on, folk who don't trust God, don't love him, don't even know him, they cannot back you away from the appointed set time of the Lord. They can give you hell if allowed. They can lie on you if allowed. They can try to block you if allowed. But when the moment of the set time arrives, everything God declared must come forth. And I don't care what God has to do to do it, he'll do it. I don't care what God has to perform to get it done. It will happen. It will surely come to pass. Throw it, Terry, and wait on it. Because that that shall come, will come, and will not tarry. I wish I had me some more praises. Yeah. What you looking at? Hallelujah. I said that that shall come, will come, and shall not tarry. Lift up a praise in here. Lift up a praise in here. Lift up a praise in here. Oh. 
Don't you block it. Don't you block it. Don't you block it. And check this. I can't block your blessing. And you can't block mine. But I can block mine. And you can block yours. Did you hear me? Instead of looking for a block, let's just magnify God and praise him together. Because you know what? I want you to get everything that heaven has declared is yours. I want you to get it. I want you to have it. I promise your blessing will not make me jealous. Let me see God do it and watch me dance. Watch me praise. Let me see God bless you. Let me see God work it out for you. Let me see God deliver something for you and watch what I do. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory, glory. Let me see God do it. I'm anxious. I am excited about seeing God do it for you. I want to see it. I want to see it. I said, I want to see it. Not about tell him, I want to see God do it for you. I want to see him work it out for you. I want to see that thing to live it. Good God Almighty, I feel, oh boy, I feel something raw. I feel something stirring on the inside. Oh, I want to hear your praise report. I want to hear your testimony. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to hear it. I want to see it. I want to see the demonstration of the power of God at work in your life. I want. I want to see a miracle manifesting in your life. I want to see a breakthrough. Hit about five folks telling I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to. I want to see it. I want to see it. Somebody ought to praise him now. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see those things that look like they were blocked. I want to see that thing that looked like it couldn't come to pass. I want to see that thing that looked like it was too big for anything to get you out of. I want to see God do it. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to see it. 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 I want to hear it. Glory to God. Yeah, your blessing to make me dance. Good God Almighty. I said, your blessing will make me dance. Your breakthrough will make me dance. Good God Almighty. God answering your prayer will make my praise go to the next place. Oh, God. Woo. Hallelujah. 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 What am I talking about? Why would I get to a place like that where I praise God because of what he did for you? When I see him blessing you, I know I'm closer to mine. Y'all oh, ain't helping me. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I want to see God do it for you. Say, neighbor, I'm going to praise God for what he does for you. Say, neighbor, that lets me know I'm closer to mine. I'm closer, I'm closer. I am closer. I'm closer. I'm closer. Good God Almighty. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 The enemy hurts a united praise. I said the enemy can't stand 
a united praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some of us got it. Some of us already there. Some of us in the middle of it. Some of us right at the start of it. But it's all a processing. But all of us are on the way to it. Come on. And all of us got to go through it to get to it. So no matter where we are, it's the right time to praise. No matter where we are, it's a good time to praise. Yeah. Let me finish this. Oh my, let me finish this. Exodus 9 and 5 again and said, The Lord appointed a set time, uh, saying, Tomorrow the Lord shall do this thing in the land. And the sixth verse says, And the Lord did that thing. <laughs> And the Lord did that thing. I know a fella from somewhere around Cincinnati, Ohio. And he wrote a song. God did that thing. Here's the verse he got that song from. Come on here. The Lord appointed the time and God did that thing. Not somebody tell him the Lord did that thing. Come, the Lord did that thing. Come on. Let me, let me, let me go on. Now, we can be on the brink, and sometimes especially, especially when we're on the very brink of deliverance and breakthrough. Understand this, the enemy may very well give one more hug. The adversary may very well give one more puff. We all remember how the accuser of Job. Word of God said, the Lord was there to this folk and checked out. And there was the adversary moving around, walking up and down. So I spoke to him, what's up? He complained about that hedge of protection. That was all surrounding and covering his people. Mm -hmm. And God said, have you considered my servant, Joe? He been praising me. He been praying. He's been before me. His life has prospered. His business has prospered. His children are doing well. He's been magnifying me. Mm -hmm. Have you considered him? Because he's going to keep on praising me. No matter what happens. See, we got to be to the place where Job is not the character in the story. We got to understand that every now and then, we are the character in the story. God may very well say, had you considered my servant, whatever your name is. She won't let go. He won't quit. He said, okay, give me some time with him. Okay, you got some time, go do it. Satan went to do it. Did you hear me? Went and, tried, and I mean made a mess of some stuff. 
made a mess of some stuff. Amen. Amen. Job lost some stuff. Now, my God, if God blessed us, surely we can't lose. Uh-oh. You mean to tell me that in the midst of receiving the breakthrough of God, we can go through a loss before we get the increase? Who did I just bring to? You might go through a loss before increase comes. Well, Job kept praising God. Mm -hmm. See, because he wasn't allowed to mess with his body. God said, I don't care. You've you got some moments, you've got some time, you can touch his body. He still will remember me. Amen. That went back. You know the story. He got, went back. Messed with Job again. This time he attacked his body. See, he already wiped out his business, wiped out his children. This time he came back and got his body. He went through so much until kinfolk started crying. Kinfolk saying you look bad. Kinfolk said, curse God and die. Hallelujah. His own wife said, why do you maintain your integrity? Why don't you curse God and die? Look, woman, you sound foolish. God is all I got. Mm -hmm. He gave it to me. He's taken it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Did you hear me? How many still have a blessed be the name of the Lord in your... Who am I preaching to? In case you take a loss before you get to the promise, understand that promise shall come. That that the Lord has promised shall come to pass. Somebody give God praise for it now. And if you rush down to the end of Job's story, the end of the matter is he had double of what he had before. In other words, when the promise comes, you ain't just getting it back. You're going to get more than you had. I'm talking to somebody right now. You're going to get more than you had. You're going to get more than you had. Somebody say increase. Somebody say in increase. Somebody shout increase. Let me finish this story. Now, Exodus 36 and 5 came because God spoke again. The enemy showed up and put some fear in the heart of the people. Do not fear what the enemy's trying to do. He's working it right now. Maintain your praise. Be determined to praise him. Amen? Exodus 14 and 13 says, Fear not. Stand still. See the salvation of the Lord. Look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, fear not. Stand still. Tell somebody else, fear not. Stand still. The 14th verse says, the Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. The Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Some of you are talking too much. Sometimes we got to stop talking and let God do the fighting. Let God work the battle. Let God work it. Let God work it. Watch God do it. Sometimes we just have to be quiet. God help us have the gift to be quiet. Help us have the gift to shut up. And every now and then when you're waiting on God, you got to put some blinders on. Because the enemy wants you to see something that looks, that does not look like God is doing it. Uh -oh. I said the adversary wants you to see something that makes it appear that God is not doing it. I got to say it again. I heard you only go. The enemy wants you to see something that makes it appear that God is not doing what he said he was going to do. Put your faith blinders on. I got to quit. Put your faith blinders on and be steadfast, unmovable always abounding in the work of the Lord. 
understanding that your labor, your praise, your worship, your thank you, Jesus, is not in vain. Did you hear what I said? It's not in vain. Your standing, your consistent declaration, your consistent praise is not in vain. It's not in vain. It's not in vain. Hallelujah. I got to get on through here. As we've studied this, we saw that the Lord told the people, go and empty the Egyptians out. Get their silver, get their gold. Don't just put it on you. Put it on your children. In other words, I'm giving you generational wealth. I'm giving you generational blessings. I'm not just going to pour it on you. I'm pouring it out on the next generation. Somebody like, you got to get the revelation of this. I'm not just blessing you. I'm blessing those coming behind you. Did you hear what I said? And then Exodus 30, 35 and 5, I got to finish this. Exodus 35 and 5 says, take from among you an offering unto the Lord. Whosoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it. An offering of the Lord, gold and silver and brass. Somebody say, bring an offering. These people got the wealth, they got the gold, they got the silver, they got the brass because of God and what God was about to command them to do. The blessing comes to us because of what God has commanded for us to do. That's why I said our desire must be connected to the plan of God. And when it is, there's nothing the devil can do to stop us from attaining it. Did you hear me? Did anybody get that? Did anybody get that? Amen. So we're receiving it because of God. We're receiving it because of our connection with him. Amen. Anybody receiving it in here? Anybody receiving it in here? I know God has called me the greater. My expectation is lifted. Is your expectation lifted? Where's your expectation? Is your expectation lifted? Anybody's expectation lifted? Amen. And that's how, that's how you finally get over the Exodus. Amen. 36 and 5. Where the people brought much more than enough. God dumped it on them because he knew he was going to call them to bring it to him. The blessing was ultimately for the Lord. Did you get that? The blessing was ultimately for the Lord. Your breakthrough is ultimately for the Lord. Come on. Your open door is ultimately for the Lord. Your healing is ultimately for the Lord. Is anybody getting this? It's for the Lord. It's for the Lord. It's for the Lord. If you're getting to give God a praise in here right now, give him, give him a praise in here. Give God a praise now. Give God a praise now. It's for him. Come on. It's for him. Come on. It is for him. Come on. It is for him. It is for the Lord. It is for the Lord. This is the Lord's doing. This is the Lord's doing. This is the Lord's doing. It's marvelous in our eyes. Give him praise right now. Determined to praise. Determined to praise. Determined to praise. I wonder if somebody can just lift him a praise right now. Oh, yeah.
I will praise the Lord. I will, I will, I will, I will. I will. Somebody lift up a praise right now. Somebody lift up a praise right now. Somebody that's gonna praise right now. Oh, glory find the king in this room. Magnify the king in this room. That that shall come, will come, and will not tarry. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Be of good courage. He shall strengthen thine heart. Mm -hmm. yeah, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I just need you to say yes, Lord, in your spirit, all down in your spirit. Just yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Listen, there may be someone that has not given and dedicated their life to the work of the Lord. Let me tell you something. My praise is because of him. Everything I have is because of him. I'm known to be a healer. I know God to be a deliverer. Amen. He's a keeper. He's a miracle worker. Amen. And so even in this message today, I present to you Jesus Christ. My goal, my obligation is to introduce someone to our Lord God, Jehovah. He's amazing. It's a wonderful thing to connect to him. And if you haven't given your all, if you haven't presented your life to the Lord, you ought to come right now. Don't worry about what you don't understand. We'll help you get there. Somebody had to help all of us. Amen. If you're not saved, if you haven't been rescued from that penalty of sin, come right now. Give your life to the Lord. If you decide prayer for any reason, come right now. I'm telling you, he's awesome God. He's an awesome God. I know him to be a healer. I know him to be a healer. Amen. Come right now. Come right now. He's a healer. Come now. He's a healer. He's a healer. He's a healer. Somebody else may be here that will say, I know I heard his word. I know I heard his word, and I know he's telling me I'm to be a disciple of this house. Come. We got work to do. You haven't seen anything yet. You have not seen anything yet. Amen. God's going to do everything he declared he shall do. It's to his honor and to his glory. So for membership, discipleship, we got greeters waiting on you for prayer. For deliverance, for salvation, come right here in front of me. I've seen God do it. I've seen God do it. I've seen, come on, come on, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I've seen God do it. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. I have to keep testifying of God's goodness. I'll never forget. And it's just amazing how God works things. In Holy Convocation 
2016, I believe it was. I believe it was Holy Convocation 2016. Just so happened that I had to keep an appointment with the orthopedic surgeon. Pastor V and I had to leave the service. Bishop Blue happened to be teaching that day. Oh, we heard it, hated to leave. Oh, boy, I got to tell this. And we got there to that surgeon's office, and they looked at the MRIs and the x-rays. And said, oh, yeah, we need to go in as quickly as possible. We need to take three discs out of your back. We'll replace them with titanium plates. We'll put all this stuff on the inside of you and get things together. And you'll be down. You'll be down for a while. You'll probably be not far from off your back. Four, six, eight months. And as we sit there in that surgeon's room, he showed me a brace I would be wearing and he asked, he asked me and asked Pastor B, now we can go to this hospital or we can go to this hospital? And we can need to do this quickly. What's the date? Let's go on and pick the date right now. I looked at Pastor B, she looked at me. I said, hold up. We'll get back with you. I just could not see, I didn't believe that that particular way was God's means for my deliverance and I knew God had a deliverance for me. I knew God had a deliverance. Amen. We kept searching, we kept looking because nobody really knew the pain that I was enduring. On Sunday mornings, on Wednesday nights, all during the week, everywhere I would go, walking in pain, sometimes sitting in pain. It got to the place even sitting would be painful. Amen. But it's one thing to say, God, I thank you, you're going to do it, and I'm not going to complain. Amen. Amen. Pastor D and I went on a vacation. Bless her heart. We went on a vacation. The reason I say bless her heart, because she was ready to really vacation. And I was saying, hold up. I can't go. I can't do it. There were times we would come down to the lobby of the hotel we were staying in. And I would have to walk from the elevator to the door of the place and sit down. I was in so much pain. Are you hearing me? I got to tell this to somebody. Amen. There were times I simply, we simply crossed the street. She was ready to go everywhere, go shopping, go do all kind of stuff. I was trying to find the next place to sit down. Do you hear what I'm saying? I didn't understand what was going on in my body, but finally, we found a place that said, we can help you out with that. Amen. And they said, you'll be back on your feet in a short period of time. I told her, I said, okay, let's go this direction. First time we looked at it, we waited till we got some other things together. But three weeks ago, tomorrow, Three weeks ago tomorrow, by laser surgery, the microscopic means, showed up at this surgery center at 6.30 in the morning. Got in there, they got me ready, amen. Put me under, all the way under. Went in my back, amen. And when I came out of it, when I came back, before I came out, the doctor told Pastor B, they said, wow, he was a worst case scenario. His back was really in bad shape. His disc had been rubbing on each other for so long that there were bone spurs all over his, his back and in his spine. We had to clean all those bone spurs out. Somebody not hearing me. Could you imagine the disc in my back rubbing on each other and creating bone spurs in there in your spine? I was wondering why I'd be walking sometime and all the dealing would go out of my leg. 
One time I fell flat down. Y'all ain't helping me. Pain would go from my waist on my right side all the way down. On my left side, it was affecting me from my waist up. On right, from waist down. On left, from waist up. I was getting extremely weak on this side of my body. Weakness was all on this side of my body. Did you hear what I said? Pastor V and I would go on trips. We'd be on the plane. And you know how you put your luggage up in the... There were, t I, there were times I couldn't even lift the luggage to put it in the overhead bin. She had to get the luggage and lift it up. I was just that weak. I need somebody to know. Did you hear what I said? But it's a matter of being determined to praise. I couldn't complain. Did you hear what I said? Amen. I couldn't complain. Amen. Thank God for the advances in surgery procedures. God has different methods that he'll do some things. Thank God they took that laser and microscopic stuff and went in and straightened my disc out, lifted them up, put the stuff in there to keep it in place. Amen. Didn't have to cut me up. Didn't cut any muscle. Amen. I was on pain medication maybe four days, five at the most. It happened on a Monday. I was back up here on that Sunday. I sit down when I minister because I'm following doctor's instruction. I feel real good in my body. I feel real good. But I'm wearing a brace and I'm sitting down because I know there's a lot of stuff that happened in my back. Amen. So I'm following their instructions. And about, and they said, it's going to take about 12 weeks for you to get that total healing. I said, I'll be patient. But honey, honey, baby, honey, child. I'm so glad I can declare to you, I feel better in my body today than I felt in years. That's my praise report. Did you hear what I said? Than I have felt in years. And what he did for me, he'll do for you. Amen. What he did for me, he'll do for you. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's yours too. Tell him it's yours too. Now just clap your hands and praise God for it. Hallelujah.